how to choose a color for a logo, or how to choose a color for a brand. I'm here to talk to you about that today because believe it or not, it's important, not just in what you think might, might be a good color just because you like orange or your favorite color is yellow, so you want a brand or your logo to be that color. There's a lot more that goes on behind the scenes that you need to learn and understand. And on this blog post, above me and below me, you're gonna see the color emotion guide. Now, if you're just starting out, you don't have to worry about all this stuff, but if you've been in um, business for a while, it's important to understand what's behind this, okay? These, the whole reason for this blog post is to talk about how to subconsciously elicit an emotion out of your customer or your potential customer to get them to feel a certain way. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying use voodoo magic to get people to uh, to sway them into something they didn't want to do or want they never wanted to buy. This is going to help them feel comfortable about you or your product or service based on the colors that you choose. It's very interesting, but it's how the subconscious mind works. I've been studying the subconscious mind since 1985. And it's crazy when you figure this stuff out. So I put this blog post together for you, this color emotion guide. Uh, I found it actually online and it, it reminded me to do this for you guys because it's really important. So how to choose a color for your logo or your brand. Now, what I did is I compiled a couple of my businesses and brands that I currently run. Uh, and I want to show them to you now so you get an idea of what this might look like, so you get an idea for yourself on how you can utilize it, what direction you might want to go. So let's take a look right now at my first uh, brand, one of my first businesses um, that I'm going to show you. I should say it's called Live Event Formula. Now Live Event Formula is a product, it's a home study course actually that I built for the home-based business community, the network marketers, multi-level marketing people, internet marketers, speakers, coaches, trainers, teaching them how to take people and drive them to an event from internet marketing. So it's a great combination of internet marketing world mixed with uh, the power of having a live event, combining the two to create a very powerful one-two punch. It's called the live event formula. So I'm gonna show you an example of my live event formula why I chose the colors that my team and I chose, and also the lead magnet to get people to opt into my list, basically, and show you the reasoning why. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Take a look, and I'll take you over to the computer. Okay, here we are at Live Event Formula. This is one of my companies. As I mentioned to you just a moment ago, uh, Live Event Formula trains entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, basically how to put on a live event, whether it is three people in your local coffee house sitting them down to talk about your business your service your product or whether you want to fill thousand people in an auditorium for a three-day you know mastermind value driven event I teach them step by step how to do that so let's look at my logo here right I chose these colors for a reason now if you can tell me why you win the prize okay why did I choose the yellow the orange right you think of it well if you refer to the uh, my blog post and you look at the color emotion guide you'll notice that I chose this because I wanted what I wanted to come across as friendly I wanted to come across as optimistic now you might say why what what's the number one people f the number one fear people have other than heights or death and taxes it's public speaking so I wanted to 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 elicit an emotion in them to get excited they see a, a crowd here cheering they see that color orangish yellow it's kind of hitting two um, two um, subconscious pressure points that's driving optimism and creating a friendly behavior and that's exactly why we did it this way I hope you're catching on and let's go back to um, my explanation Okay, so this is what I call my four-figure cheat sheet. This is for people that opt into my live event formula funnel. Um, again, what do you see here? It's kind of a blended yellow and orange. Again, I want optimism to give them the clarity and warmth. I wanted to create this friendly nature of it so it's cheerful and elicits confidence in my customer's subconscious mind. Confidence, why? Confidence because I want them to feel like they can do this. Now, I'm not... I'm not going to convince them 
it's going to only pull it out of them if they have that within them. So if they like my course, if they like the thought of my course when they watch my video, they get this, it's gonna it's gonna keep it's gonna keep them in the mood that they want to be in rather than um, let their ego shut it down. It's gonna open them up, which is great. It's exactly why I want to do that. So this is my cheat sheet for the four figure formula light, leading them into my live event similar um, color scheme there's a reason for that and I I hope it's becoming clear and let's go back to the video to get to the next example okay I hope that was helpful for you that was live event for me now you understand kind of the reasoning why I designed it that way and had the colors built in now the next one I want to show you is a company of mine I call Liberty Core now Liberty Core is a uh, it's not a nonprofit but it's an organization that's built to help active current members of the military, US military, no, actually any military worldwide, uh, active and retired or veterans uh, that have served. It's a really, ama I'm very proud of this community. It's an amazing community. And so I want to take you to the logo that we have built for Liberty Corps to, to see if you can understand why I chose the color, why I chose everything I chose for this. Uh, let's go in there now, I'll explain it to you and then uh, see if you can catch why we did what we did and see if you're getting good at this color emotion guide so you can use it for your business and your brand. Okay, so here we are with Liberty Corps. Now, Liberty Corps is the organization that I built that helps veterans and active military all over the world to basically teach them skills, give them skills on how they could earn an income, significant income from home, from the internet, anywhere in the world I give them I teach them those skills we have a whole community set up to actually teach them those skills I'm very proud of this community it's a way that I could finally give back and this is what we built here it's called Liberty Core now you notice that the colors I'm using are a blend of blue and gray and you'll even see some green in there right so let's talk about that blue what is it trust dependable strength for the blue color, strength, right? Military, They've, they're strong, there are leaders, there are warriors. So it immediately talks directly to their subconscious emotion right there. And then what else, what other colors we got? We got the gray. So it's kind of a balance. It's kind of balance, it's kind of calming because military are very um, brotherly, meaning that they're brotherly and sisterly, meaning that there's they're a real fraternity or sorority of tight-knit people. So I want them to be calm and balanced and understand that we're coming from love and want to give back. We don't want to keep them on guard. We want them to be relaxed and open, right? And you'll even see some green, which is peaceful, health, and growth, which is important as they transition back into civilian life. They want I want them to feel like it's a peaceful transition coming into our community. So that's why we chose Liberty Corps. Is this making sense? This is fun, right? So look at that color emotion guide to help you, and let's go back to the video. Okay, cool, welcome back. So I hope that Liberty Core example was helpful to you. Two more, relax, just two more. And the next one is uh, my one of my umbrella companies I call Giving Tree Marketing Group, LLC. Giving Tree, um, the Giving Tree was one of my favorite books as a child, so I wanted to, it's something that warms my heart. If you've never read that book, um, it's called The Giving Tree. Uh, Shell Silverstein, I believe it is. I cry every time I would read that book. It's amazing, get it, definitely get it. You could YouTube it and watch it on YouTube called The Giving Tree. I believe it's from 1970 or 1969. Uh, anyway, let's go take a look at what I designed for my umbrella company called Giving Tree Marketing Group. Again, I want you to take a look at the logo, take a look at the color emotion guide and find out what I was trying to do in the, in the subconscious mind of my customers as they're looking at my logo. Let's go there now. Here we are at Giving Tree Marketing Group. This is my umbrella company and I just wanted to show you real quick, I think you're catching on now, the color scheme here, okay? So you'll see, what do you see? What color do you first see? I'm sure you see the green, right? Which means peaceful, health, but it also means growth. So I got a picture of a tree with deep roots growing. This is my, this is my main business that teaches and trains people all around the world to grow financially. So this is what I wanted to come across. Also, you'll notice kind of a, a, a hint, a tinge of yellow, which is optimism as well. So I think you're starting to catch on, but this is the logo for Giving Tree Marketing Group um, that shows you peaceful growth, optimism, warmth, right? 
So there's a, there's a real theme here. This is not just on accident. All this stuff is happening on purpose. Okay, and last one. Last one is a series. They're banners that I have created. I have a local community here in Hawaii. When I'm in, in Hawaii, I do live events for my internet marketing business. I speak all over the nation. I'm training people all over the world on how to do internet marketing and how to profit online. Uh, I've been in that business for quite a while now and have been very blessed to have some really good success with it and teaching others is one of my passions and I just love it. So I do that here locally. I've got a company here called Hawaii Internet Mastermind where I market locally to help local people learn a skill uh, that they could use to never need a job again to make themselves self-sufficient here in the local Hawaii economy. It's really cool. Anyway, Hawaii Internet Mastermind, these are banners okay, that I have and they're like six foot banners, eight foot banners that I have at my events. I want you to look at the different color schemes and figure out why I chose them. In fact, I'm gonna tell you why, but I want you to look at them first and I'll give you some time to look at them and see why you think I chose them and we'll get right back to it. So, okay, here we are at my Hawaii Internet Mastermind. This is the company that I built here in Hawaii to educate and train and grow and develop leaders in the local community here in Hawaii to teach them internet marketing skills so they can develop an income for themselves. Now, let's start with products over here. What colors do you see? Well, you see the orange and the yellow, optimism, friendly. Why? Because they're products. I want people to like these products. Okay. I want them to like them. It's cheerful. It gives them confidence that they want to buy it. Clarity and optimism. Like, yes, this can, this is my thing. This is my jam. I could do this, right? Hence products is yellow. You also see some green there. Okay. Why do you see green here? <laughs> this is getting fun. Why do you see green you guys? Okay. You see green because I'm talking about products. You see a shopping cart, which is kind of gray and white, which I want people to be calm and balanced. And you see the color green in the add to cart. Why? I want them to be peaceful about the feeling of making a purchase, right? Do you get this peaceful growth? I want them to feel like they're going to be growing when they make that purchase peaceful, make that purchase. So friendly, optimistic, cheerful, warmth, clarity, confidence, right? Let's go to income, this green banner. Why green? Now notice, I want you to notice something, that my logo is right at the bottom of each. Remember the colors in the logo, Optimist, optimism and friendly, cheerful, confident, clarity, warmth, optimistic and friendly is the theme throughout all three of these. Are you following me? So here, We've got a green. Now, we're talking about income. So not only is it green, but what other color do you kind of see blended in there? Yellow, right? So again, clarity, warmth, optimistic. Why do I want people, um, potential customers and clients to feel optimistic? Because we're talking about income. We're talking about a potential income that these people can generate. So I want them to feel optimistic like they can do this. This is huge, my friends. If you get this, you can, you can elicit subconscious emotions and reactions in people that they didn't know they had because their ego and their conscious mind blocks it out. This is why people can't feel love much anymore, some people, because they, they, they allow their, sub, their conscious to get in the way of this stuff. So anyway, you see yellow in there, right? But you also see green. So I want them to feel peaceful about the income because there's a, there's a big... Um, stigma attached to income opportunities, business opportunities. You know, it's a scam, it's, you know, I don't believe it, you know, I can't do it. I want people to feel peaceful. I want them to feel like if they get involved and they can make this income, it's gonna make them healthy inside. We can create a healthy financial situation for themselves and that they're gonna have the ability to grow financially because that's what that green color is about, growth, peaceful, with a little bit of that yellow, optimism, clarity, and warmth tied in with my logo, which is friendly, confident, cheerful, right? And here we go into the final um, banner. And these are the six foot banners, eight foot banners I've got at my events. It's purple and it's also blue and it's also yellow. Let's talk about that. What are we talking about? What's the theme? Community. I want them to understand what our community is about. So let's talk about it. Here is how sexy and cool this is. Purple, creative, 
imaginative and wise. I want them to feel like we have a community of wise and imaginative and creative peers so they can feel like they're a part of it. Is, do you see how this is effective and affecting and, and has the capacity to elicit emotion from potential customers? I'm telling you it works and it works every time and it works amazing. Now it only works if people are open. If people aren't open, they might fight it consciously and they will get that feeling eventually if they let themselves. So that's just a matter of your of your rapport building process. But this is the most you can do on a on a on a one dimensional level, and this is so powerful. So purple, creative, imaginative, wise. Again, we got the yellow in here. Optimistic, clarity, and warmth here in the community. People helping each other. Now you see these little blue lines. Check that out. What does that talk about? That talks about trust. It talks about dependability, and it talks about strength. I want people to feel like if they become a member of my of our, excuse me, Hawaii Internet Mastermind community, I want them to feel that there's trust. They can be trusted. It's a safe place for them to share ideas, trust in other people to help make them successful and wealthy, which we do. And it gives them the strength to grow and to take risks, maybe for the first time in their lives. And this is why all this comes together in a big, big way. I think you guys get the idea. Let's go back to the video and wrap it up. But I hope this was helpful to you. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching. That was the Color Emotion Guide. I hope this was helpful to you so you can see how you can creatively and subconsciously enter the mind of your prospect and your client or your potential prospect or client to get them to start feeling a certain way about you, your brand, product, or service so that your job becomes easier to show them the benefit of what it is that you've got to offer. So that was it on how to choose a color or a logo excuse me, how to choose a color for your logo or your brand, um, the, the blooper reel for this should be really good. Anyway, Samuel Levitz, I hope this was helpful. Talk to you guys soon.